hey you guys so today we're going ahead and we're getting into a work from home vlog so of course i was getting up early this morning child i don't know if it's just me or not but listen i still be getting on my phone i know it's a bad habit but listen i'm trying to break these curses but first things first hey my name is mink i do natural hair lifestyle book and beauty and as of lately a lot of vlogs so if you're interested in any of those things of course go ahead hit the subscribe button and join our kinky food fam and leave me a comment down below so that i could personally welcome you but as you guys can see i'm making up my bed i'll be 100 percent honest this is not something that i do every day but for the aesthetic purposes of this vlog of course on most days i try my best to make up my bed but y'all sometimes it, it don't even be given all that So, of course, the first thing you do after you get up, child, is go into the bathroom and get yourself together, okay? Now, I live by myself, so, um, you know, I don't got to worry about too much, but, of course, you want to go ahead and brush your teeth, get yourself all started. I swear, like, my morning skincare and stuff is what really activates me for the rest of the day. So, I did go ahead and um, take my scarf off, and y'all... I laid my edges now in reality am i laying my edges child if i'm just in the house just chilling no but again this is something for the aesthetics of this video and since i'm on camera i really like to try my best to come on camera presentable that's something i struggle with with my curly hair baby because when i tell y'all me and that bonnet go together real bad i mean it so at this point it is eight in the morning and I am on the phone with my dad chat. My dad wanted to call me at the crack of dawn for whatever reason. So I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that I got my computer all set up. So next one of the absolute most important things of my day is saying good morning and interacting with my plants y'all. I'm a plant mommy through and through. I have five plants I want to say five or six. Um, so I like to make sure that I rotate them in this big beautiful window of mine. It's one of my favorite parts about my apartment and you rotate them just so that they're all getting the same amount of sun. And of course I got to turn that wax melter on. Okay, you guys, so despite it being summertime and a bajillion degrees, I am a hot coffee girl, okay, through and through, and I take what my mug of the day is extremely serious, so um, this one here says plant lady, and it's like a little, you know, like little plant pot situation, we have main character energy for obvious reasons, this one says Mimi, that's my nickname, one back here says spill the tea like there's i have a lot of mugs i need to select my mug of the day to go with my personality and today is giving main character energy so for me i highly recommend that you get the big jug of coffee and you just use refillable k-pods so they look like this um, super tiny like a normal k-pop would and you just refill these this is so much cheaper to buy this big jug this is 36 ounces of coffee um and you know k-pops can run you at least 25 for like a pack of four so this has definitely been some bang for my buck so yeah Hey you guys, so it is now about 9.30 ish. I've been working for a little bit. I see I got my coffee, we made that together. Big, big coffee girl. I'm also a big tea girl. I've still been on my chlorophyll, but I do plan to do a chlorophyll review as well because I've been taking that for, I took it consistently for the month of May and I've been very on and off throughout June. But yeah, y'all, I am actually in such a very, very good mood. The past two weeks have been very, very hard for me. Emotionally, I've just been like really up and down, to be honest with you. know, like, it's not like there was some big life event that happened or anything. I just was, you know, up and down. 
um, I wanted to come on because today is such a good day. Yesterday I found out that I won a trip to New Orleans. Huh? A trip to New Orleans for Essence Fed. So the hotel is covered. Girl Usher. Huh? Usher Raymond is performing on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. Janet Jackson, Victoria Monet, T Pain, like big big names. Method Man. Okay. Um, so I'm really, really excited. So yeah, um, I have to be super productive the next 10 days before the trip. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the camera today and we're going to film this work from home vlog. So y'all, I have been working from home for almost two years now and it is very, um, it can be repetitive. It can be very, very repetitive, but also it can get a little lonely. So I think it's really important to, um, stack my day <laughs> so that I don't you know feel away so since I'm at work right now of course I can't show you guys that because I work for a trust fund company if you didn't know I am going to come back on my lunch break typically for my lunch breaks I will either take a nap mm -hmm. yes I did yes I did say I will take a nap or I usually read um I'm trying to think I made like butter noodles yesterday for dinner um I just wasn't super super hungry like I said I, I had a lot of stuff happening so I wasn't crazy hungry so um yeah we're gonna go to the gym later we're gonna edit later chat I'm gonna have to take pre-workout because I got a lot to do I have a ton of laundry on my bed so we're just gonna see what I get into today and go from there but I appreciate you guys so so much for watching the video if you're new around here hey my name is Mink I do natural hair lifestyle book and beauty content so if you're interested of course hit that subscribe button join our kicking crew fam we absolutely would love to have you here also also before we go ahead and i hop off i know that my my protective style at this point looks extremely raggedy today is wednesday and i'm actually going to take it out on friday and wash my hair saturday morning um so i didn't put any extra product or mousse or anything on my hair itself since i'm just going to be taking it out literally in like 48 hours so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that because i definitely look a little busted okay I'm gonna let y'all know every day is not a pretty day to be honest most of the time like if it's my natural hair out baby that bonnet that's over there is is probably on all day until I go to the gym so I had to you know come on so that we look a little presentable okay but yeah you guys so I will come back when I'll come back on my lunch break and we can talk some more I'll read and all of the things okay you guys so hopefully you can hear me somebody's cutting grass in the back but it is now lunchtime. it is like 12 45 ish and honestly i almost never eat breakfast so around this time is when i get hungry so for today i am just making something quick so i made turkey burgers the other day so i'm just going to heat up one of those and i have some frozen fries here i'm going to pop them in my air fryer and we're going to call it a day because you know for lunch i always want something quick and easy because i'm not about to spend my whole break in the kitchen okay all right you guys so my lunch is all done and this is what she's looking like let me show y'all a different angle hold on all right you guys so that's the turkey burgers i made my fries and i got these super cute little sauce cups off of amazon they're linked in my amazon store so if you're you know curious about them they're in there but that is my lunch today so and y'all this isn't my actual lunch break um i usually eat while i'm on the clock and then i'll come back when i take my actual break and i'll show you guys that i'm probably nine times out of ten i'm gonna read <laughs> okay you guys so this is a very realistic video okay so yes there's laundry on my couch i washed all my clothes my dirty clothes yesterday so they're on a the couch waiting for me to fold them okay i don't okay this is a realistic work from home vlog and sometimes that clothes be on that couch okay so um that's on the agenda to fold up for later but for now it's on that side and i'm on this side okay so it is now 1 34 i don't think my camera's focusing i think it's focusing on the clothes but it's 1 34 my break is 30 minutes so i usually just spend this time reading or taking a nap now Honestly, I eat on the clock all the time because my job isn't like it's not one of those things where I can't eat as I go. So I like to spend this 30 minutes reading. If you are new to getting into reading and stuff, highly recommend you read on like your lunch breaks, 
go sit in your car go sit in the park go sit on a bench or something um i have a huge window in my living room as you guys i think you guys saw that this morning um when i was like rotating my plants but i like to sit in front of my window and just soak in the natural light and read my book so right now i am going ahead and i'm reading seven days in june by tia williams that is the cover i absolutely love the cover it's so so pretty and this is actually my second time reading this i'm on page 193 and um i wanted to reread this actually because i wasn't a huge fan of this initially i think this book gives like trauma bond and I think now that the second read, I know what's coming, that I was better able to prepare myself. But I don't think that it's a, it's a bad book. You just have to be emotionally prepared to read it. So I definitely like it better the second read around. Um, I think the first time I gave it three stars. And this time I'm going to probably give it somewhere like four. It's just one of those books that has a very, very slow start. So I understand why people end up putting it down okay but more the story is is that i decided to go ahead and reread this book because i picked up a love song for ricky wilde i'll insert a pop-up over here but that is the author's next book a perfect find i want to say might have been tia williams first book i've never read that one so I, you know if i find it i'll pick it up but i just had to go back and reread this one seven days in june before i went in with a love song for ricky wilde just to refresh myself with like the author's writing style and all of those things so i'm gonna spend my next 30 minutes reading hey you guys i'm back i have 30 minutes left to work and y'all i've decided throughout the day that i'm taking this hair out today like y'all it looks so bad in the front i made plans with my sister and one of our friends and i just can't go out looking like this y'all like i would be so embarrassed like i i pretty much don't want to go to the gym okay but i'm going to go ahead take my pre-workout and then i'm going to go to the gym do my regular gym routine um and then i'm gonna come up and take these braids out so is it something that happens every day? Of course not, but I'm showing y'all today's routine and that's what's going down today. So I have my hands a little bit full, so I'm gonna do the gym. I'm going to take out my braid, my, they're twists. So I honestly think maybe two hours and then I have an empties video that is going up on Friday. Today's Wednesday, so I don't have to get it finished, but I do wanna wash my hair tomorrow on Thursday so that I'll be able to look presentable for Friday. But yeah, so gym take out my braids edit shower all of the things so we got our hands full but let me go take this pre-workout hey vlog so i'm back from the gym and i literally had a package downstairs waiting for me y'all came in a little envelope you know and y'all I don't know what's in this week but why did my job just send me a bunch of amazon gift cards hello like what is going on so um this vlog is showing out a little bit because girl had no idea that was coming surprise surprise so when i'm done taking these braids out you better believe i will be scrolling through amazon hey you guys so i'm back it took me so freaking long to take those braids out y'all it is literally 10 30 10 46 10 46 y'all i feel like i was doing that for freaking ever oh my goodness but i never want to rush my process when i'm champ sorry when i'm uh taking my braids out because i feel like that's when a lot of damage happens too i like to be very careful but y'all since it is so late and i work tomorrow oh my goodness like i'm tired so i'm literally getting ready to just go ahead and jump in the shower i did literally just do a shower routine so if you're interested in the routine that i'm currently going in and some products that are in my rotation right now i will link it up above but other than that y'all i'm about to call it a night i'm about to finish this episode of couple to thruple okay on peacock okay i'm about to finish watching that and when i get into bed i may sit there and edit a little bit we'll see 
but yeah y'all i just wanted to hop on and say good night thank you guys so so much for watching i'm sorry that this one was more hectic but if you guys are looking for like my everyday type of routine that i typically go through i usually do not sit here for four hours taking out braids and stuff um so let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing but as you guys can see i am exhausted so i'm getting ready to hop in the shower and i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next one bye